All right, guys, I'm at the K2 Systems booth here at SolarCon 2023. This is John. They do a bunch of different racking systems, and it's pretty amazing everything they've got. I've already talked to them about it. I want to have him show you this firsthand because it really is pretty incredible. Go ahead. Right on. All right, well, uh, hello, everybody. John Riddle, K2 Systems. And one of the things that makes K2 Systems unique is the open channel rail design. We were one of the first to markets. Uh, to bring this kind of design um, to the installer community. And so the big advantage when having a open rail design is what you see here, wires. So you're allowed and able to put your wires in the rail channel itself, keeping it away from the elements and also keeping it away from any kind of critter or anything that can climb in and maybe gnaw this wiring. We've designed special clips for this as well that snap into the rail it keeps it in there real nice and tight so any kind of wind anything like moving around the actual array itself is going to help to just protect it from coming apart we used to see traditionally zip ties holding it on the side of the rail we just didn't feel like that was the best methodology and so we designed this to be able to keep everything out of the elements the other part too with our mid clamps is you can put them over top of the rail and over the wire so that it's not actually impeding on the wire itself. So we've kept all those ideas in mind and we did that with the installer feedback. Installers told us what they love, what they don't love. And so the whole thought process has been, let's create things that make your life easy and make the install as effective as possible. So we also have mounting that is for every single rooftop type. So here you see an array design, what we call our tilt-up. This tilt-up design is specifically for the flat roofs. And we've got a couple different mounts that work with a Chemlink E-Curb. We designed this so that you, the installer, would be able to adjust on the rooftop using the exact same type of rail that you're using on the job to get the optimal angle that you're looking to get roof by roof. This here will basically be cut at the, the optimal length so that you can design for 15 degree tilt, 20 degree tilt, whatever you need. So it's really flexible, very adjustable, and you do it on the fly for flat roofs. Some other innovations that we've come out with is we've started with tile hooks pre-installing waterproofing on it. So this is what we dubbed as Everseal but it's actually a butyl type sealant that's already pre-installed on the hook itself. And so the beauty of this is it creates a consistency for the installer to be able to get on a job, have any level of installer, you know, whether they're new to the install or they've been doing it for years, be consistent across any single install with the amount of waterproofing they put on, you know, the attachment itself. So this is a really nice thing to do a couple things. Keep it consistent. You know it's done right every time, but also speed up the install. So you use tile hooks, obviously on tile applications. Another thing we've done is we've created tile replacement flashings. One of the big benefits to the tile replacement flashing version that K2 has designed are these securement tabs that are on both sides. We also pre-cut this version is an S tile. We make it in flat and W as well, but we pre-cut it exactly where the tile hook is gonna land because we know it's gonna be in the valley every single time. So what this does for the installer is it gives them a already predetermined tile replacement flashing that's pre-cut and ready to go. So they get it, they bring it on, they just use their finger, bend that back, tile hook's already installed, they line it up, Lift the tile to the left, secure it with the already pre-cut tab on both sides, ready to go. This is obviously just a display, but you set your tile right back down on it. So it's super secure. It's oversized, overlaps the peak of your tile to your left and your right. So any kind of water, anything that's coming side driven, it won't get in and get underneath the tile. So just a really fast and, and very easy install on a tile replacement. Another innovation that K2 has brought up 
is we decided that having a metal flashing is tried, it's true, installers trust it, they believe in it, it's time consuming. You gotta find rafters, you're hammering on it a lot, and more often than not, you've got a bunch of holes that you've tried to find a rafter that didn't find the rafter. And so we decided to come up with an attachment that you can go straight right on to the actual comp shingle itself. You'll notice here with this too, it's got six pre-drilled holes on it, and then it's got the what we call ever seal, but it's a butyl type of sealant already pre-installed on the splice foot itself. The importance of this is flashing is an act. So this is a flexible flashing and will allow you to do a couple of things. The big thing is you're gonna install this without having to pry up a shingle like you traditionally would do with a metal flashing. You're gonna go right on top of the shingle course itself. So if you find a rafter and rafter attach is really important to you, you simply take two screws, these self-tapping wood screws, you take two screws, you put one in the center of both the attachment. If you don't find a rafter, this is one of the beauties of this, since we have six pre-drilled holes on here, you actually just take four of these screws and you put one into the each of the corners and you could actually do a deck attach. So it's really forgiving if you have staggered layouts or you have a home that has some kind of weird rafter layout where you just can't find them or you can't get the spans you're trying to get, this will give you that flexibility of doing either or option to the rafter or to the deck itself. So super, super easy to work with, forgiving. And then the last feature, you see two holes here. You only need to attach a rail with one T-bolt. However, staggered layout again, something very common. If you don't want to use a splice, you use this actual splice foot. You add a second T-bolt, you butt up both ends of your rail on it, attach it, one less thing on the truck, one less thing to worry about, and just that much more convenience for the installer. There you have it, guys. K2 is really innovating a lot of stuff for roof-mounted solar, and they do have ground mount systems as well. So if you're interested in using their equipment, I'll have links down below. Appreciate it, John. Awesome. awesome. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Thanks, likewise. everybody.